Welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. It is all that matters, and today we're going to talk about elemental symbols. Where did the elements get their names? So let's start with um, the first person, or what is recorded as the first person, to come up with an idea of uh, putting symbols with the elements, and that's usually credited with Aristotle, the Greek sophist. And Aristotle's symbols were very simplistic. Um, understanding the power of the triangle and the balance of a triangle and the fact that Aristotle was only dealing with four elements air, earth, fire, and water and basically between air, earth, fire, and water he had a balance between all of the types of temperature or weather we could have hot, dry, cold, and wet so there is a balance between air, earth, fire and water that is achieved when they interlock and it he believed that when these four elements are working in balance and unity that there is harmony in the world and then um, during the Middle Ages of course we had the alchemists who were hired by the kings or placed in work by the kings to turn everything into gold and here are some of the symbols that alchemists used uh, to uh, keep their data, to keep their message, to uh, their secret language, to keep their hidden secrets about how to change all matter into gold. And it wasn't until John Dalton came along that we actually started to formalize the symbols and all of his symbols dealt with circles and his circles basically have that same idea as Aristotle's that there is basically balance um, and he is the first to begin using letters that correspond to the name so you see on the right we have Z for zinc and S for silver and P for platina which actually was platinum um, so the idea of symbols uh, has been around for thousands of years and we use a very basic system using the letter of the name of the element and here we have some examples of how we use those symbols and here we have carbon which is a capital letter C but if we go to the right we notice calcium which is C A now we have two C's here so when there's a secondary letter it is always lowercase so in the case of calcium it's the C lowercase a down at the bottom you have chlorine capital C lowercase l so most of the elements will go by the first letter of their name um, nitrogen N oxygen O phosphorus P but there are those because of repetition in the system um, we do have to use the second letter and in that case it is always a capital letter first and a lowercase letter second so if we actually had N capital N capital I that would be nitrogen and iodine but you have a capital N a lowercase I then you are dealing with nickel so it is very important that we use the capital letters appropriately and the lowercase letters appropriately now some of the elements um, we have to remember still go by their Latin name as uh, most of the original science that we deal with was kept in Latin or recorded in Latin and so therefore we will often see um, some elements on the periodic table that don't seem to match up for instance sodium is Na but that goes to its Latin name natrium and potassium K is actually the Latin name callium um, if we go down to the bottom we see lead capital P lowercase b for the Latin word plumbum and lead piping is very common so therefore we have the name plumber coming from that idea of lead pipes for plumbing P-L-U-M-B-U-M-P-B -U -U for lead and the name plumber so what we have here is <clears throat> an opportunity to practice some of these symbols and I have placed a periodic table on the PDF uh, below the video but you also have uh, your own periodic table and it would be great for you to start getting familiar with the periodic table and where the elements are located so <clears throat> you can print out the PDF that goes with this and fill it in or you can just do this mentally um, 
here on the screen, but I'm going to ask you to go ahead and fill in the information on the PDF or fill in the information mentally on this screen. There are actually two screens, so make sure you do both, but I would ask you to go ahead and turn off the the video now. Take a moment and go through all of the elements and their symbols and when you are finished go ahead and turn the video back on and we'll check to see how you did. So here we have the list of elements and their appropriate symbols from the periodic table. So please go ahead and check your answers for argon, capital A, lowercase r, magnesium, capital M, lowercase g, boron, capital B, xenon is capital X, lowercase e, manganese, capital M, lowercase n, be careful that you did not do magnesium, um, sulfur, capital S, francium, capital F, lowercase r, helium, capital H, lowercase e, Nickel, we already did before, but capital N, lowercase i. Bromine, capital B, lowercase r. Neon, capital N, lowercase e. Lithium, capital L, lowercase i. Vanadium, capital V. Californium, capital C, lowercase f. Silicon, capital S, lowercase i. And yttrium, capital Y. And on that second part of the handout, where we dealt with the names and symbols, these are all the ones that are a little bit different, or most of the ones that are a little bit different. So we have sodium, capital N, lowercase a, gold, capital A, lowercase u, tungsten, w, potassium, k, iron, capital F, lowercase e, copper, capital C, lowercase u, lead, capital P, lowercase b, tin, capital S, lowercase n, silver, capital A, lowercase g, Mercury, capital H, lowercase g, and antimony, capital S, lowercase b. So hopefully this has given you a nice introduction to elements and their symbols, and we will continue to work this, with this throughout the semester. Keep that periodic table handy, as it will be your tool for the rest of chemistry and beyond. So thank you again, uh, because chemistry is all that matters.